what's new in Cisco Nexus Insights 5.0. In this video, we'll introduce some of the new features in Cisco Nexus Insights 5.0 application. NI 5.0 is the first application that unifies Nexus Insights resources and the Network Insights Advisor. As you can see, we have a revamped user interface for the Unified System Dashboard that's designed to keep operators in mind to quickly bubble up anomalies and advisories that show the impact as well as the recommendations based on the correlations calculated by Network Insights 5.0. We also support onboarding an ACI site directly on Nexus Dashboard 201 and enable Network Insights for sites directly from Nexus Dashboard. And use these sites for all applications running in your cluster without the need for each application to manage the sites separately. In addition to the already supported platforms, we now support additional platforms, including the GX platforms for NXOS. We're also introducing a new feature that's called Flow Table Events, or FTE, which is a mechanism for hardware telemetry. It's similar to FT, which is a direct hardware export. However, it's an always-on type of mechanism that's used to track events in the switch, like forwarding, buffer, policy, policing, IDS drops, or TCPD transmissions. Every time these events are triggered, NI is notified and will let you know about these critical events, as well as, based on the correlations, show which flows were impacted, thereby allowing users to observe the events but also drill down into the details right from the dashboard. We've also added App Dynamics integration, which is already shipping with ACI, but now we've added support for NXOS as well. Microburst detection has been available in NXOS, but now it's been added to ACI. Microburst, as we all know, is highly intense traffic that appears in short bursts and is therefore very difficult to detect. Microbursts are triggered whenever the queue size occupancy rises above up threshold and falls below down threshold, configurable from NIUI. The thresholds can be set by the user directly from the NI app where the sensitivity of the burst can be set. The enabling needs to be done explicitly. You can set low, medium, and high. And for each of these, there are different upper and lower thresholds. An anomaly for microbursts would be raised at an interface level when the number of microbursts per interface is greater than 100. When the anomalies are raised, the user will know the fabric, node interface, and queue where this happened and also identify which flows were impacted due to these bursts. Also, for the very first time, we support the export of data via Kafka. NI would be the producer of important events like advisories, anomalies, audit logs, events, faults, statistical data like interface routing protocols, environment, etc. And the user can input a Kafka broker and then all of the data is written as a topic. NI can also notify users via email. Simply enter an email address, select the data required, and how frequently you want it. We've also added support for Tier 2 Leaf in ACI Fabric. So, if there's a Tier 2 Leaf between the host and the Leaf, NI is now able to gather flow table records from the Tier 2 Leaf and stitch these together to show an end-to-end -end path including Tier 2 Leaf in place. We have enhanced the impact and recommendations for anomalies for better troubleshooting. We've also added REST APIs for the advisor functions. The topology view for both ACI and NXOS is now generally available. These are just a few of the new features offered in Cisco Nexus Insights 5.0. Thank you for watching.